Hi friends, it's Deanna here today. And today we're working on the kids boxer and brief pattern. This is a super quick, super easy sew. Um, so let's do it together. All right friends, I'm gonna start with the brief version and I'm doing the elastic waistband. So I've got my little piece right here, my, um, I drew a blank. My flat front, this is the fly. I don't know why I drew a blank. So I've got my fly here and I've got my brief. This is the edge of my brief and the wrong side is touching the right side of that one. And then we're gonna match up at the top and I'm gonna match up at the bottom, stretching that fly that it so that it fits. I have to stretch it a little bit. And then I'm going to also clip right here in the middle. And you can go ahead and baste that down if you want to first, but I'm just going to leave it clipped. I think you'll be fine. And then I'm gonna grab my other fly piece and I'm gonna grab, see this is the flat front at the top and the bottom is rounded, so make sure. Um, so I'm gonna grab the top and place it right here. So the right side of this second fly is touching the right side of the briefs. And we're going to just sandwich the brief right there between the two flies. So that once we sew it together and we go to open it, these two will be wrong sides together. And here's the boxer, I mean, here's the brief. This is the brief, I'm not doing the boxers yet. And so I'm gonna go ahead and sew this together right here. All right, so now our fly right here has been sewn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it to the other side. Here's my other side right here. And I'm gonna grab that right sides together. So if you fold your brief right sides together, this first one, this first side is gonna be right side, right together with the brief. And we're gonna match him up at the top, just like we did on the other side and at the bottom, stretching slightly so it fits. And you can go ahead and baste that if you want, but you don't have to just like the other side. And then what we're going to do is, let's put this right over here out of the way. And we're gonna grab our brief and we're going to roll it up a little bit. <clears throat> then we're gonna grab this top one that was laying right there, the second half. We're just gonna wrap it around it, bring it over and match them together. So now we're creating another sandwich. Here's the brief, here's the other one, the other fly, here's the brief, here's the top one, and we're gonna put them together. So we're creating like this sandwich burrito. I probably would say burrito because I like burritos better than sandwiches. So this is a burrito. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding, I love sandwiches just as much. No, 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 I won't say that. I love burritos. Let me know what you love. You love burritos or sandwiches or both. All right, so there it is. So now we're gonna go ahead and sew that together right there. All right, there's our burrito. So now we're gonna go ahead and turn it around. And when you turn it around, if everything worked out like I think it will work out, you will have your brief basically like so. Here is my uh, fly right there. It's attached so you have no seam, like no um, raw seam out. It's encased. I couldn't think of the word. You will have no, you'll your seams are encased, which is really, really nice. So now we're gonna go ahead and sew that on. So we'll turn our briefs wrong side out, wrong side out, and we're gonna match up that in that one that's inside. We're going to first place it like right up the center. So this is, if you open it up, this is the wrong side, right here of my briefs. This is the inside. This is the, the fly that's gonna be on the inside. So this is supposed to be my outer one. So this is the one that's touching right sides together with the back of my brief. And we're going to pin right there and we're gonna stretch it lightly to reach the other side one way and then reach the other side the other way. You can go ahead and baste that together or you can just grab this other one and you're gonna kind of go around the back and flip it around so that it's over on the other side. So you kind of turned it around like this. So now we're gonna sandwich that bottom of your brief in between the fly. 
again. So just pin it again. And this one, we're making a brief sandwich. It's not a burrito because it's not rolled. Burritos are rolled. Just in case you were wondering. And then we're gonna sew that together right there. All right, now we're going to unfold that and our briefs are almost done. Now we all we've gotta do is put the binding or the elastic at the legs and at the waist. These are gonna be really cute. Okay, so I've cut out my elastic with my guide. And the first thing we're going to do is with our leg elastic, we're going to overlap half an inch and stitch that together. Uh, to, I said wrong sides, but I mean, it doesn't really matter what sides together, just as long as it creates a good loop and it's not twisted. Now for our waistband elastic, I'm, I'm using an exposed elastic for a waistband. We're gonna fold it together, right sides together, and we're going to create a straight stitch first. And th this is um, going to be exposed. You're gonna be able to see it on the back of the briefs. So you wanna make sure that you use a contrasting fabric. So I'm, I'm gonna put some white thread. I didn't, I put black on my, on my cover, on my serger, but you can't really see it. Um, but I mean, they're just, I know it's, it's not nice. You probably wanna make really nice briefs, but they're just briefs, so I mean. Just, if you already have a color on your machine and you don't want to change it, I won't tell anyone. <laughs> All right, let's do that. Once we have that straight stitch right there, we're going to go ahead and open it up, open that allowance, and um, stitch these down. I'm gonna use a zigzag stitch to do that. You will be able to see that because it's an exposed elastic. So make sure you use a thread that is going to match your elastic. And this is what it'll look like. I'll trim those edges, but it just looks like that. All right, now well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find our halves on our uh, brief legs. And so we're just gonna lay it flat Okay, and we're going to mark, okay, here's my one piece, here's my other half. So we're gonna start by attaching in the front and we're gonna attach it to the wrong side. So I'm gonna start right here at the bottom. I'm just gonna pin it for now. And we're going to just, we're not stretching it or nothing on the front. We're just adding it to the front part from the marks I just made. So where is my mark? Right here. Going all the way to that mark without stretching first. Then when we get to that mark and to the back, we're going to stretch our, our elastic so that it stretches that boxer brief leg I mean not box I keep saying boxer I want to say boxer because I'm going to work on the boxers too but we're just doing the briefs right now um, so that it brings that leg in right here and right here and we're going to do the same for the other leg now for the waist elastic we're going to grab it and we're going to first, this is the right side, we're going to place it on top so we can go ahead and quarter it. Obviously don't cut it because it's your elastic so I'm just going to mark it with my pins. We're gonna co quarter our box or brief Oh my goodness, our brief. This is not a boxer. This is just a brief. Somebody, please. And then now when I saw the briefs, the boxers, see, uh, mm, I'm going to keep calling them briefs and not boxers. So now you know. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and match up 
Whoop. We're going to first sew it to form the inside. So I think we gotta pin it actually. Got my pins. So we're going to pin it to the boxer. <gasps> now, now my brain is just making fun of me. Saying, heh <laughs> heh. And then we can go ahead and baste it, baste, 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 stitch it on first to the brief from the back. So I'm gonna go over there and sew my elastics on with a zigzag stitch or a stretch stitch, or you can do it on your serger with a straight, uh, a, a serger stitch. I'm just encasing that elastic in there, like sewing it on. I'm just gonna do a, a zigzag stitch on my machine because I feel like the serger stitch is really bulky and I don't like to have that extra bulk. So I like to sew them on with a zigzag stitch. And then, and then I'm going to just do a straight stitch, basting stitch to baste the th this waistband on, and then I'll go back and top stitch it. All right, so now that we've got our waistband basted on, as you can see, it's just ugly stitches because it was just kind of sort of basted on there. So we'll have to stitch it on nicely. Um, and then we've got our elastic, our um, um, sewn on with a uh, zigzag stitch. So now <gasps> I'm, I'm drawing, uh, my words are eluding me today. So now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab the elastic and we're gonna Fold it into the inside of the brief and we're gonna go and top stitch it on and you can do this with a zigzag stitch you can do this with a double needle you can do this with your cover stitch whatever you want to do that with you also want to make sure that you're using fab uh, thread that matches your fabric because you will be able to see it um, the stitching so you want to grab I'm gonna probably use white. And I am going to be using my cover stitch. We do have a video um, talking about my cover stitch, the kind I have. Um, I use a Brother Pacemaker. It's a Brother Pace Setter. Sorry, Pacemaker. Pace, Peacemaker, Pacemaker. Is that what you put in your heart? Sorry. I. Anyway, a Pace Setter. And um, it's like an intro version cover stitch. It's, it's I I have enjoyed it. It makes things a lot easier and quick. Um, and then for the waistband elastic, we're gonna go in and top stitch it on. So you can either do the cover stitch or whatever it is that you wanna do, or you can go ahead and um, do a zigzag stitch or whatever to attach it on, and then we'll remove that basting stitch that looks super messy. So let's go do that and we'll be done. All right, friends, we are done with our little um, briefs. They look super cute and they were actually super easy to sew. So let's put that aside. Hey, we also have um, panties, uh, the Phil Frisky panties for adult size on our channel. So go check that out on our channel. It's one of our patterns. So go check that out um, because you know, you want to sew adult panties as well. Those are amazing. I have a bunch of them. Okay, so we're going to get started. I am using the flat front, but um, the other version, the only thing you have to do is sew the two right sides together to create one full one, but it's still going to be the same. We're going to follow the same steps and we're going to follow the same steps on this one as basically what we did on our briefs for the boxers. So I'm gonna show you, and this, the boxers are actually probably even a little bit easier just cause there's no elastic at the leg. Um, so super quick as well. All right, friends, so just as with our briefs, we're gonna grab that fly. Here's our straight piece and here's our, um, it narrows down. And we're gonna place it at that, this is the side of my brief. So you can see that. Um, we're gonna place it right on top the right side of the um, fly is touching the wrong side of the boxer. 
um, just like it did when we were doing the other one. And then we're gonna grab the other fly and we're gonna place it right on top and sandwich that boxer. See, I was gonna say brief now, ha, huh? I knew it. All right, so now that they're sandwiched, we're gonna go ahead and sew it. Now we're going to, see here, we're opening it up. There's our seam inside of it. Now we're gonna grab the other side. Same thing, fold it in half, right sides together that we did with the other one. And we're going to um, match this front with the, the side of the, of the boxer with the fly, right sides together just like we did earlier, and you can baste it on if you want to. So we're gonna flip this one kind of on top of it and do the burrito again. So we're gonna grab it and just roll it up a little bit. Once it's rolled up enough, we're gonna grab this other side and we're gonna come around. It's gonna be a little bit tighter on this one than it was on your underwear, especially for my size. What? Mm, maybe I'll have to baste especially for my size because I'm doing a bigger size, um, they, uh, they're they bulkier, so there's more to fit in that roll. So let me do it again. Let me make it a little bit tighter this time. All right, I'm going to fold it up kind of so that my burrito's thinner right there. So I'll put it up and then I'll make a thinner burrito. And then I'm gonna come around this side and around here to sandwich that in. So if you're doing the bigger size, make sure that your um, when you roll the burrito, you roll it kind of up so that it stays out of the way. Because that was a little bit challenging right there um, so that it doesn't get caught right here at the bottom so it's not so bulky. So you just kind of have to figure it out so it's not so thick right there. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and sew these together. And when I sew them together, I'm gonna stretch it away from that real quick. So maybe you might wanna baste first so that you don't catch anything other. You don't wanna catch anything other than these three layers right here. So you want that to be like, you know, push that down or push it up or out of the way so that it doesn't catch um, what's inside of there. All right, right here, I like to use my um, fingers to make sure that it's not grabbing anything behind what it's supposed to grab. All right, so now we turn it around flip it out and it is done. We're coming along. Now what we gotta do is we're gonna turn it back wrong sides together and we're gonna match up that bottom seam right here at the bottom, the crotch seam and we're gonna sew it together. See I told you this one was easier because now we just sew this together then we're gonna attach our waistband, and then we're done. You're stretching out that back seam a little bit to fit. And um, I will probably be sewing a bunch of these versions for my son, because um, he likes the boxer version better than the briefs. Um, now we're also gonna grab our waistband and we can fold it wrong sides together and give it a memory steam, a memory crease so that, that um, it's easier once we sew it together. And then my iron needs to heat up so I'll go grab that in a minute. But then once we give it that memory steam, then we're going to fold it wrong, right sides together and sew that raw edge right there. So we're prepping this at the same time that we're sewing the bottom edge. So then we'll just attach the waistband and hem. All right, we're basically done with these. We are going to now just have to hem the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and grab and quarter my waistband, just like we did our waistband over on our briefs. 
and attach that waistband right sides together. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, make sure you check out all our other tutorials on our channel. We have tons of tutorials on here and not just tutorials, but how to's on different things like waistbands and stuff like that. If you're wondering even what kind of stretch stitches work best, uh, top stitching, all kinds of stuff. So make sure you're checking all those other resources out as well. Also make sure that you're subscribing to our channel um, because you don't want to miss out. We have some videos coming up. We have videos coming on Mondays. Usually we have new sews on Mondays. Um, on Tuesday we have sewn with Nye, so make sure you come to that. Nye is so funny and she is amazing. Um, on Thursdays and on Saturdays we also have some videos, a lot of hack videos, a lot of how-to videos. So make sure you, you subscribe so you don't miss any of um, our videos. You'll have like a little notification that lets you know that. So now we're going to go ahead and grab it and match right sides together here at the quarter points that we created earlier. And we'll sew that up and we'll hem it up and we'll be done. Don't step out until you subscribe and until you see the final results because these are so cute. So I'm going to go ahead and use my... I say go ahead a lot, huh? I'm going to just use my iron and steam and then I'm going to hem. I didn't say I had. Go ahead. <laughs> Oh, in case you were wondering, I used cotton lycra for these. I love using cotton lycra for um, kids clothing and also for underwear. You want to use, usually use something that's got like cotton in it. Um, and so I love using cotton lycra with this type of sew. Um, I think this cotton lycra came from knitfabrics.com. I'm not 100% percent. I'm not 100% sure though because I've had this fabric for quite a while. Um, I've made some other things with it, but not very much. So I had a, I didn't get a whole lot of it. I only had like one yard of it. So I had enough for this. Look how cute that is. All right, let's go sew it up, top stitch it up, sew that band up, top stitch it, and we'll be done. We are done, quick and easy, and great for scraps. Um, you can make them with really any kind of stretch knit, and you can make them like, you know, if you don't have big scraps, one leg could be one color, the other leg can be another color, the flag could be a different color. It doesn't really matter. It can be fun, funky, um, and I think the kids would love that, like, you know, matching all the different colors and everything like that. That's a great project to do with some scraps that you have. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please come and like, share, subscribe if you haven't. Let me know if you have any question, questions. <laughs> come find us on Facebook and Instagram so you can share your makes. We want to see what you're making. And we want you to be inspired by other sewists who are sewing all these beautiful patterns. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye!